Hey everybody, it's Grateful here. Um, today, um, we are going to do a, uh, um, an informational video on the drive control mod. I've heard a lot of people not understanding what the mod is and they want to understand um, how this works, guys. Okay, so, um, well, the first thing you're going to notice um, when you have the drive control mod is that the tractors don't automatically start when you enter them. Um, and, uh, um, so what we need to do to start the tractor is to hold down the enter button, guys. And uh, um, you see, it, it started the tractor up. Now, the thing about this is, guys, if you're going to be on a server or if you're in your own game or whatever, guys, you can now leave the tractor and it remains running. So um, if you have uh, um, problems with gas, guys, I would suggest that you uh, go ahead and uh, turn your tractors off when you leave them so that uh, um, you're not wasting gas and, and wasting money. Okay, guys, so the, uh, the next thing we're going to cover with drive control here, guys, is uh, um, now that you have your tractor started, you will notice that you are still unable to move. You are unable to go forward or backwards, and that's because the parking brake is on, guys. Now, the parking brake little icon is located right above the gas symbol um, over there um, at the bottom right-hand corner. You can see the parking brake there. So in order to undo the parking brake, guys, it is control space bar. Control space bar undoes the parking brake. And now we are able to move around. See the little icon disappeared? Uh, but now we are actually able to move around in the tractor. Okay, guys, so uh, another part of this mod is going to be, guys, um, is the uh, the four-wheel drive and locking in, in locking the front and rear differentials, guys. Okay, so um, in order to, uh, for the purposes of this video, in order to show you guys, I have this plow on here, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and lower this plow into the ground, and now I am in, I have no drive controls on, guys. This is all the uh, um, just a regular two-wheel drive tractor without the rear differentials locked. And what's going to happen here, guys, is when I press on the gas, is that uh, um, I'm going to get uh, the, the tire spinning, one tire spinning, as we are actually unable to uh, um, break free. And if I put in enough gas, I can get the second tire to spin, but still, we do not have enough gas to pull this uh, plow through the ground here. So, um... What we could do is we could try to lock the front differential, and uh, with this, I, I do not think we're still we're still not going to be able to move. But now you can see, oh no, that's the wrong one. Um, and now you can see that above the number eight in my fuel, there uh, um, a little tractor icon is lit up, a little wheels icon is lit up, and uh, now it is telling me that the front differential is locked. But there's not actually enough horsepower to get these front wheels to spin. You can actually see them trying to move, but they're not spinning. Okay, so. And then uh, um, shift um, six then will be the rear differential. And you can actually see that with a little bit of gas, they're both spinning right out the bat. So, um, um, so I mean, the differential is locked and the, and the wheels are together in the same. We still just do not have, we still just do not have enough to pull this thing. So what we could do here now is um, we could turn on four wheel drive. Now. Well, with four-wheel drive on, you still have only two axles that are turning, one in the front and one in the back, but it's going to break this plow free, and we're going to be able to move with it with four-wheel drive on. And that is uh, um, shift four, guys, to get four-wheel drive. And see, we are moving, but we are spinning some of the tires, so we could also lock the uh, front and rear differentials, and uh, uh, then all four tires will be in action, and all four tires will be spinning, and we can actually move this plow across the uh, across the dirt here. It's not going to stop us from from going all sideways and stuff because this tractor is definitely too small for what we're doing, but it will make it so that we can pull it. Um, and before, um, just being a two-wheel drive, we couldn't do that. And so you can see the three icons over there on the right. Um, um, shift four being four-wheel drive. I'm turning it off and, right, off and on right now. Shift five being the uh, front differentials and shift six being the rear differentials, guys. Okay, so um, we'll go ahead and remove them and uh, um, raise the plow here, guys. And then there's one more, or there's two more things I want to show you about this mod, guys. Um, okay, so there is a, um, the way tractors work is there's a throttle that controls the overall speed. And, uh, um, and then there is like usually a hydrostatic or some kind of gear drive that controls the forward movement. Now, with the uh, um, with the left arrow, um, right, or with the uh, holding 
um, shift and the right and left arrow will move these little gear cogs right underneath my speedometer up and down. And now what that does is it actually, uh, um, this here actually removes some of the forward torque that we're going to have so that you will not spin your tires. And so, like, let's put this back down in there and see, uh, we've got full gas here now. And we're still getting pretty good torque off the back end of this tractor here. So let's go ahead and keep uh, lowering that with the gas on and see, uh, now see that, that right tire, now see I got full gas on, but that right tire has decided it cannot move now because uh, um, we're lowering the amount of torque that we're giving to the back wheels. And then that now, that front wheel is just barely wanting to turn. And see now uh, we can go ahead and raise that torque back up and we can watch that, uh, that right wheel decide that it wants to start turning here once it has applied enough torque to the wheel. This goes up really slowly here guys on this uh, on this uh, multiplayer server here, guys. Maybe I'll have to reapply the gas to get that other wheel to spin. Um, yes, I will. Okay, there we go. Uh, maybe it's just at a bad spot. But the uh, this wheel, this uh, left wheel, is definitely spinning faster, guys. Okay, and so then the other control we're going to learn about here in this uh, drive control is the uh, throttle. Um, and the amount of throttle you're able to give is kind of like a throttle stop. And that will be holding down the shift button and pressing the up and down arrows. And you can actually see the throttle going down there. And it's like a throttle limiter. Um, and so we'll just limit it to 50% throttle. And this is good for driving around, guys, and wanting to uh, keep uh, good speeds and stuff like that. And so now we're actually only applying 50% throttle here, guys. We got up to about a quarter throttle. Let's try again. And see, now I can't even hard with the gas completely applied. I can hardly even get the uh, the tire to spin now because there's so little throttle here. Let's let's raise this up and see how fast I can actually run with this throttle only at 23 percent. I'm only able to run about five to six kilometers an hour with the throttle at only 23 percent. So guys, we're going to turn that back up to 100% and show you, uh, um, oh, we'll turn it up to 50% and see where we get at 50%. See, now we've released uh, the throttle limiter so we can go about 10 miles an hour. Okay, guys, so um, that basically shows the drive control mod. I hope you've all have found this uh, video, um, this video, or this video, um, entertain, both entertaining and educational, guys. Um, until next time, guys, hope to see you on the farm. Peace, love, and hippie grease, and uh, I'll see you next time, guys.